on the last episode. What is happening now? Why is my eye twitching? What the heck happened? What the heck is this? And so we continue. It's a cool uh, car. I think every every time we go to a map, that that car scene always uh, shows up. Lemon skate Saturday, eleven forty-five a.m. It's kind of almost lunchtime. Cool music. Him. Correct. Is this Ota? Are you Ota Matsushita? Yeah, I think that's that's the, the thing that, that appears on our image a while ago. Who are you? Wow, this guy's ignorant. I <laughs> showed him a badge. I'm from the MPD. <laughs> the police? There you go. <laughs> you remembered something, didn't you? There's a circuit inside you just got boop. And then now you remember something. Let's go and ask him about stuff. <laughs> what are you typing? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? I'm the police. Uh, could you look at me? No. What I'm the heck is this right guy? Now. Are you a fan of ASAT? How did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me. What can you tell me about last night? Last night. Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code, unless initiated by legal process. Oh my gosh, this guy's... Annoying. No person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. This is the type of kid I hate him the most. Yep, me too. Punch him. <laughs> All right. I don't have any options, right? I just gonna go and punch him. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. Then what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Kick. <laughs> Uh, that's hey, you have to <laughs> chill, bro. <laughs> Oda won't even look in my direction. He's just typing away at his laptop. Okay, let's uh, look at the laptop then. Oda's laptop. Over. Break that thing in half. If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. All right, we don't have anything else to do but to kick him. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. Dosage? What do you mean by that, Aiba? What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. Yeah? And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Whoa. Man, this... Aiba thing is... Cool. What is happening right now? Does Tessa refer to Aset? Wait a second. Tessa, Aset. Oh yeah, there you go. That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Yeah, because it's reversed. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. Oh, there you go. What is happening right now? Aset and defending her all by himself. What? You piece of crap, what are you doing? What is this two witter? <laughs> Witty, okay. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. There you go, yep. Hey kid! Hey kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. Two witter. Nah, uh, uh, what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I'm a psychic. I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Ah, <laughs> yes. Now. I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Alright, now answer my questions, Oda. About last night. I'm gonna ask you again. 
Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Finally. Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey, everyone. Uh, this guy... Okay, oh. okay, I'll talk. Just... <laughs> about last night, Ota, for the last time. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Someone? Did you enter the park? Yes. At 9 p.m., someone? So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What? Our Mizuki? What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemnisgate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. Don't tell me you're dating Mizuki. How did you know Mizuki? She's just a friend. What's what all the all say? What does what the all say? Yes, you better be. <laughs> Daddy instincts, that hey, Daddy instincts, just like me. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. Oh. I was talking to Tessa one day, and she just comes up like, "Hey." When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Man, daddy's like me. Wow, cool. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Ah, uh, again, I'm gonna ask. How did you know Mizuki? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? What work? I write light novels. Like, wait. Those are from the animes, right? The, uh, wait, no, uh, mangas. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Wow, I buy you are our lifesaver. Thank you very much for that. Hey, Ota, how about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Ooh. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. Aspiring? So, what's that all anyway, about? Anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? <laughs> Wait, Mizuki is a sixth grader? Really? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Alright, can you provide a detailed account of last night? Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? Oh, okay, that's why uh, no, nobody saw the crime scene because the whole area is uh, abandoned. <laughs> okay, so I guess that no one was there at 5 p.m. because no one is going there. But why the heck is Mizuki there? I don't know. I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Oh, okay. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. Nile, what does this, what this, this copy? I don't know. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Alright. Again. With these things. Okay. Can you provide a detailed what happened next? information? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Okay, cutscene. Oh. They found it? Wow, that was be that must be very scary for Mizuki to find out. Her mother's dead. Oh gosh. <sighs> okay. Did you leave her there? Did you leave her there? Uh oh. You left a twelve year old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me 
her roommate would kill her. Hey, good girl. Good girl. Oh my gosh, cool. <laughs> All right, man, we think alike. Thank you. Thank you for that one, Date. We think alike. Why did you use the payphone though? I tried using my cell phone at first, but my yeah. heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. Slips you out. It. Yeah, right into a puddle. Oh, that explains it. Liba, can you trace the last signal that Otis' phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Yep. All right. We don't have anything else to uh, talk about hey, this Ota, guy. what are you doing? What is this? Tessa. Oh, it's Tessa. Look at that. Hey, uh, kawaii desu chan. Okay, this is awkward. You are? He said, Mr. Date from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? Wow, I've never met a real detective before. What's with that look, Date? What the heck? Are you interested with this girl? <laughs> hey, look at that! Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Okay, so whenever that beating thing happens, Date's adrenaline level is rising. I think he remembers something from his past. Maybe Tessa is a part of his past? No, no. Something the matter? No, nothing. Okay, let's go and ask Aset about this. You're friends with Mizuki? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so we hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... Mizuki and I live under the same roof, but she doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. Uh, what is your relationship with Oda? Relationship? We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. <laughs> her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. Really? Really now? For someone who just ran away from a crime scene and leaving my Mizuki there all alone by herself? Wow, someone to talk about that, man. You have you the nerve. You sound more like a superhero than a thrall. No. You just sound like a superhero, okay, but you're not a superhero. Always me when I'm getting fashed online. Oh, really? Stop. You're making me blush. This guy. Let me uh, tell Aset about that. Ota, what you've been doing? I'm gonna tell Aset about that. Do you want that to happen to you, bruh? Do you want Asa to know the truth? About the sock puppeting, there we go. <laughs> there we go, about the sock puppeting. <laughs> hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on two winner. Uh-oh, here we go, Oda. Hey, look at that face. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Looks like you're my thrall now. Ah, you just got defeated, Ota. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. Nice. Are you Aset? Let me confirm something. You're Aset, right? <laughs> Let's play a game. Shadows! What? Um, thread? Silhouette? Aset. Fierce! Uh, upset? Regret? Aset. Water! Wet? Sweat? Aset. That's how you play the game? The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. At once. <laughs> how old are you? I turned 18 this year. Oh yeah, you look 18 this year. A senior in high school? Yup. Date, I recommend 
recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Wow, Aiba. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? <laughs> <laughs> this game is getting weirder and weirder. Alright. Okay, let's have ask about um, Ota since Aset is here. About Aset. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. Oh, come on, Ota. Compose yourself, bro. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. What are you gonna do? When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light. And I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. Did you talk to her about last night? Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. Mm -hmm. It is possible Ota wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? Wow. Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. How? How? It's all over the internet. Wow, that was fast. When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. Oh wait, this morning, okay. <laughs> about Shoko Nadami. I took out Shoko's photo, photo from my pocket and showed it to Oda. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait, do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? Wow, this guy is ignorant. I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Yep. Maybe because her last name is different. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Nadami and Okiura. Mm hmm It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. Oh, they kept it a secret. Okay. We're leaving. Date, I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nadami. Let us continue. Right. right. Let's go. Let's head back to the crime scene. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. What? You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Ota was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Oh my gosh. Ota, take a video. What's gonna happen what? now? Just do it. Don't you dare Mr. make a. Dante! Yes, she's making a drama. What the heck is this? Please, Mr. Dante, you can't leave me. What? I can't imagine life without you. What are you doing? Oja, did you get it? What was that all about? Oh, uh, yeah. The reception lady is like, what the heck is happening right now? What was that all about? That's weird. What are you doing? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder... What would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... Wow. Why are you doing this? I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. Yeah? She really is quite the seductress. Okay, yeah. <laughs> succubus that's that's a term succubus okay we uh, don't have anything else to do here I think we're gonna go to the map and go back to Bloom Park let's go
Hey, look, a new... A new way. <laughs> hey, what's this? Alright. Want me to talk about Aset? Alright. Talk to Aset. Alright. About Oda. Why do you ask? You two are very close for an idol and a fan. Oda is... special. He really is like... a hero to me. Hero, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, do you have any questions for me? Questions. Questions. Ah, what's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm -hmm. But... you are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? Please! I don't even know what unit is that in, though. Should I tell? What are you doing? Are we gonna- Just thinking about Oh, come on! Video. Stop with the blackmail! Whoa, hold up now. Well then, tell me! What is this all about? Stop it! Uh, why did you become an idol? Well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous. Get on TV. Be a household name. But you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. Oh. I do songs and dances and play video games and stuff on stream. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think she's a streamer. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. <laughs> Minecraft. <laughs> it's not Shovel Forge. It's Minecraft. Okay, we have a, a new reference here. Game I've been reference. Focusing a lot on that game lately. Wow. Okay, you're a good builder then. <laughs> I uh, I love playing that game, but I'm not focusing on that game anymore. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Okay. Nice. How did you start working for Lemniscate? Well, at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. Well, that's my goal too. But, uh, no. My goal right here now is to just enjoy playing this game. And enjoy entertaining a lot of people who watches my videos. And if they want to stay, then they, yeah, they can stay. If they want to go, then they can go. I'm not gonna force you to watch my videos, but please... <laughs> watch my videos. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, if you want to watch my videos, go ahead and... Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. So uh, you get more videos like this. More games. Okay, let's continue. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. Oh. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. Oh. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway. One day, Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up! Okay, that's cool. How about Mizuki? We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. That sounded awkward, but okay. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Alright, about that video, please remove no. it. Thank you very now much. That I think about it. Wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too? What? The video. You're an idol, right? You have a status to maintain. If that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble too. Yeah. Okay. What? Uh it is? Because sometime real soon. What is this? I'm going to die. What? What? I can see into the future. Oh really? So you're a psychic too? I know when I'm going to die. Man, this conversation just got really, really heavy. 
<laughs> Just kidding. Oh gosh, this girl. I hope so. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. About my department. There we go. I think we're gonna get a, a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Okay, so yeah, I'm part of Abyss. Date. Oh my gosh, Aiba doesn't want me to tell her about it. I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. That sounds sketchy. Public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Oh my gosh, you're swearing to Isis. Oh my god. Ask for her real name. By the way, I didn't catch your name. Yeah. You really want to know? That's of course. Okay you don't tell me. Iris. Iris? Iris Sagan. Iris Sagan. I know. Weird, right? Mm hmm. Oh my gosh. Something happened. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Had it, poke it, fill it with fruit. What? Mm -hmm. Something wrong? No, it's nothing. What was that all about? I think that was a uh, part of Date's fragments of memories. Okay, I think we're on Bloom Park now. Saturday, 1 20, 1 12 p.m. p.m. <laughs> 1 12 p.m. Okay, it's cool. Excuse me, you Konami Date. That's right. What's up, officer? And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Iris couldn't hold back her excitement and rushed onto the scene. Uh, Iris, I think you should stop doing that. Column. Oh wait, last night I found Mizuki inside the central column. Why was she in there? Why was she hiding there? And how could she have been... How could he... How could she have gotten inside there? I don't know. Uh, what are you doing? I was trying to find some clues. By dancing? She's a natural detective, huh? Mm-hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Well, this girl is kind of nuts. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. What? They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. But, do you have any proof? I do. Well, let's hear it. Oh, it was. Why do you think it was a the ritual horses. murder? Horse? Yeah? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? Okay. What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The mm -hmm. left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. Do you mean the Illuminati? The eye of Providence? The all-seeing eye. Yep, it is. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. The Eye of Prominence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Hey, I think this is banned here. Don't so tell you that. You see the picture? Not really. Anyways, <laughs> that's a weird deduction there, Iris. Uh, why do you think it was a ritual murder again? I remember Ota describing the scene. Yeah. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Mm -hmm. Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Wait. Yeah? Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw? Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth... Oh my gosh, yeah! 
Get it? Mizuki took the ice pick. He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Oh my gosh. Tinazuki. Oh no. Wow. It's kind of You're wasting your time. Have you been before? Let's go with the uh, have you been here before? When I was younger, but not since it closed. Kabasaki is restricted, right? No one's supposed to be here. <sighs> this amusement park, Bloom Park, is located at the heart of the Kabasaki district. Mm -hmm. It was closed eight years ago. Oh, I, okay, that's why it's abandoned, all right. The closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant. An explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area. The government quickly issued evacuation orders. Eventually, the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There are still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they... okay? Well, we're okay, and maybe they are. I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. Oh, okay. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. Is it like this? The isn't this like the Chernob Chernobyl accident in uh, Russia? I think. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. It's quieter than it usually is. Okay. Okay. We know about that anymore. I, last night I found Mizuki okay there. Yeah, I was talking about. I was talking to Iris. You're wasting your time. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. Shh, quiet. She's right in front of your eyes. Or is she, is she in front of my eyes? Huh? <laughs> okay, cool. What else should we do here? Oh, don't please. Uh, squared horse. That horse. Yeah. That was stored in the warehouse nearby. Some kids must have broken in and put it up as a joke. Those are pretty strong kids. I keep telling you that. How is that even possible? Look at the size of this thing. It's a bench. I wonder how many couples sat here. It makes me kind of angry for some reason. I would burn all those damn benches if I could. What? Where is this anger coming from? <laughs> okay. Something happened between uh, with the relationship of Date. A panderite. Type of the you put a coin in. A oh, okay. Bear? I'm not gonna be punished, am I? What are you talking about? What? <laughs> Nothing. Just thinking about a game I like. Let me search for that. I think it's kind of no. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the horse. Okay, we can zoom into the horse. Shoko's corpse was tied up here. Hmm. Wait a second. Iba, can you show me the earliest recorded images of the scene of the crime? What is your intention? Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick. Yeah. Naturally. There should be plenty of blood. Oh. Agreed. But there isn't a single drop on the horse. And it was like this when we found it. Ah, uh -huh, I get it. Correct. There are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off either. That must mean. Yep. The crime scene is not this place. We should go. Oh, come on. Just a little longer. No. I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, I guess. Let's go, Iris. Or should I just leave you here? What the heck is happening? Hey, what you the? All right? Are you okay? Morning sickness. <laughs> what? I'm kidding. This girl. I would know. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score. Just wondering oh, look at that. how much do you weigh? 
Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. Your uh. back is so warm, Mr. Date. What is this? What is happening? 